In this video, we are going to draw the V slide plate from chapter two. Here is our drawing right here. The first thing we are going to draw are the five circles. So you can see there's a circle here, 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 and here. We are going to say that our origin is going to be right here, so zero, zero. And the reason why I selected this for my origin is because a lot of the heights are drawn from this line right here. So it'll be easy to determine the coordinates. Okay, so now we're gonna determine the center point for all the circles before we start drawing. So the center point for this circle, you can see that you go right 1.375, which will be our X, and then you have to go up 0.625 right here, which will be our Y. For this circle, our X will be zero because you don't need to go right or left. And then you go up 2.75, which will be our Y. And then for this circle, you go to the right 2.2, which is our X, and then you go up 4.7, which is our Y. So let's get started. All right, we are going to draw a center radius circle. Our first, to specify the center point, so our center point for the lower right circle will be 1.375 comma 0.625 enter, and the radius is 0.625 enter. We will draw the lower left circle. The coordinate for that will be negative 1.375 comma, then 0.625, enter. The radius is 0.625, enter. Now we're gonna draw this middle circle. We want to repeat the center radius circle command so we can hit space on our keyboard to rerun a command. So I want to, the x is 0, comma, 2.75, enter. Radius is 0.875, enter. Right. Oops. Now we will draw our top circles. So spacebar to rerun the draw circle command. The right 2.2, comma, up 4.7. Enter, our radius is 0.875, enter. Then space one more time to draw the upper left circle. Our X coordinate for the center is negative 2.2 comma 4.7, enter, with a radius of 0.875, enter. Next, we are going to draw three lines. One line is going to be tangent to this circle and this circle. The next line will be tangent to this circle and this circle. And our last line will be tangent to this circle and this circle. So we will click line and then use our object toolbar. One thing to note before we use it is that when using the toolbar, it will expire after we specify our point. If you use this, the running snap, if you, ours is off right now, but if you turn it on and there are different ones selected, that will always be on. But we are going to use our tool, toolbar. So we want our first, it's a specified first point. We want to be tangent to the circle. All right. And then we want to have our second point tangent to this circle. You can see that the tangent snap is not turning on because it already expired when we specified our first point. So we're gonna go over here and click the tangent object snap, click, then escape, draw another line, 
that is tangent to this circle and tangent to this circle, escape. And then our last line is tangent to this circle and tangent to this circle, escape. All right, and then we can see that in the description, it says the design has two sets of parallel lines. Our first set is this line is parallel to this line. And in our second set, this line is parallel to this line. One property of parallel lines is that they share a perpendicular line. So these two lines share the same perpendicular line these two lines share the same perpendicular line. So we are going to draw a line that is perpendicular to this line. And you can draw it at any length because we are only going to use that as a reference line. Escape. And then we'll do that again on the other side. Perpendicular for the first point. To this line and for a second point it can be anywhere escape all right so next we want to draw a line that is parallel to this line in order to do that we will just use object snap to make sure that line is perpendicular to this line because we know if two lines are parallel they also share the same perpendicular line so we will click line and first, the first point, we want it to be tangent to this circle and perpendicular to this line to ensure that it is parallel to the other line, escape. Then line that is tangent to this circle, but perpendicular to this line, escape. Now we want to lengthen these lines because they're too short right now. So an easy way to do that is we can actually just click on the line. We can click on this node. Make sure not to move your mouse around because we want to keep it at this angle. And we will make our length 10. It can be any number. I just pick 10 and we can trim it at the end and click the line. Oh, sorry, no line, escape. You'll just click this line and then click the top end point to lengthen it and then enter in 10, enter on your keyboard and then escape to deselect the line. The last thing we need to do for the drawing is we have to draw a line that is tangent to this circle but perpendicular to that line we just created you can see that it is perpendicular with this 90 degree annotation right there so let's do that all right we'll draw a line that is tangent to this circle but perpendicular to this line escape then for our last line, we will make sure that the line is tangent to the circle and perpendicular to this line. Escape. All right. And the last thing we need to do is trim our drawing so that it looks like our design. So we can just click this and then click delete on our keyboard click this and delete it and then we will trim the rest so we use the trim command there are different ways to do this but I'm a visual person so this is the easiest way to use trim for me I can right click on the mouse and then go down to the command prompt and click on crossing and then I can actually just hover over the different portions I want to trim.
then hit escape and we can delete these last two. Kurt. All right, so that is how you draw the V slide plate in chapter two.